What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out this Roadmaster spare tire carrier with an additional receiver at the bottom. Let's check it out. What's nice about this is not only can you put a spare tire on here, it has an additional receiver, so it's not gonna just take up that one spot on the back of your rig. It slides in there, now you have this extra receiver to put a bike rack, cargo carrier, or hook up your flat toed vehicle too. We've installed the cargo carrier on the extra receiver hitch. You see that there's plenty of room in there from the tire and cargo carrier, so you don't have to worry about them running new each other. This is also gonna be the same if you added a bike rack. There should be plenty of room between the bike rack and the tire too, and even your flat tow vehicle when you go to set all that. This should be up and out of the way. This isn't just for if you need to replace a tire. I like that the spare tire moves out of the way just in case you have a different setup on your motorhome. Maybe you have storage in the back you need to get to, you can lower the spare tire out of the way, get to storage or wherever you need to here if you had something without having to completely remove everything out of the hitch every time. Got this pin that goes down into place, holds it there. We'll add our wing nut here, tie on the hand. And then you've attached your spare tire. Looking at the receiver, it's gonna be a standard two inch by two inch. You have the safety chain loops on the side for your flat toe setup. Also keep in mind that it's gonna have a weight capacity of 10,000 pounds. It's gonna have a tongue weight rating of 400 pounds. You're gonna have two hitch pin holes here. This was helpful for our cargo carrier to put in there. The washer was too big to fit around this portion. The weld got in the way so it wouldn't have sat flat. So we were able to use this one, just push the cargo carrier in a little further and we were able to make it work. A warning that Roadmaster gives is that if you go to line up your hitch and the secondary hitch pin hole is on the lip of the hitch on your motorhome, it cannot be used this way. It's not going to be as strong if the hole is here at the lip. So you want to line it up to where your hitch pin hole lines up here and this is nowhere near the lip of the hitch. It's got an anti-rattle bolt that's going to help take that shake and play out. I can shake the whole rig back and forth. And there's not gonna be any movement in the hitch here, so no rattling or anything is gonna transfer your tire or whatever you put in the receiver. I'm gonna take a look at the plate that you mount the tire to. This is without the tire in the way. You see the slider holes here and the regular holes. It's gonna help you line up many different tire sizes and get it attached. That's gonna work with tire sizes from 16 inches all the way up to 24 and a half. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to put the tire on. So one of the nice things about the spare tire carrier is that I don't have to lift this tire up into place to attach it. It can always be kind of a pain holding it with one hand, trying to get the bolts through the backside without dropping the tire, especially when the bigger tires for the bigger rigs here. So what we got is I've already lowered it down into place. I'm gonna roll the tire right up to it. Before I do that, I just wanted to point out the different slots. They give you the options for different bolt patterns on your wheels. So that's gonna help us find the two holes to use to run the bolts through. So I want you to have a good look at that before I roll the tire up and kind of cover that up. So then with the back side of the wheel lined up, we're gonna see what, what we can actually attach. So what holes are close to where. So we're gonna line up, looks like this slot here If I lift it up a little bit too, that'll line up there on this hole. So let's go run that bolt in and then line up our second. With our tire lined up, we're gonna take our bolt and our washers and the plastic washer is gonna go in between the spare tire carrier and the rim of the wheel. You don't want any damage or scratching, so this is gonna prevent that. So we'll come down to the slotted hole that we know lines up. Then add the disc on the other side. And then line up with the hole. So if I lift up on the arm a little bit, that will help us get it aligned and into place. Now with the bolt sticking through, we can come back with another plastic washer first, because that's gonna touch the inside of the rim, the flat washer, then the lock washer and a ladder nut. Get those lined up, start threading on the nut. It helps to lift up on the tire carrier on the back, take the tension off that bolt to get it started. We're gonna do it hand tight, and then we'll get our second bolt installed too. 
Lifting up the handle, we've aligned it this hole back here to be able to run the bolt right through and attach this one as well. With the plastic washer, flat washer, lock washer, nut added on, you can come back and tighten them both down. Using a 7 8 socket and I got a wrench on the back. Now that the tire is attached, we're going to use the extended handle and use that leverage just to lift it up and push it into place. You can see the pins stay along this track. It guides it right into its spot there in the middle. Be there. You can just push down on it if it doesn't automatically snap into place. That's going to help hold it and we'll come back with our washer, lock washer and wing nut and tighten that down. And now we're going to bring the handle back down. Just pull that pin out, let it drop and line up the hole that's closer. So there we go. Put our pin back in. And you're done. Pretty easy to get the tire installed. Now you're ready to hook up your flat tow vehicle, add your cargo carrier or bike rack. Overall, I was impressed by this tire carrier just because I've worked with several on different trailers and boat setups where you have to hold up that wheel the whole time to try and get those bolts in the middle and that can be a pain. It was far easier to do this on the ground, attach it there, then use the leverage of this handle, just push it up into place. I really like that. That way I know if I ever need to get to this tire, I can just bring it down and detach it or add a new one. Or if your rig's a little bit different and you need to get the storage back here, you can easily just lower it out of place, open up your storage, get to wherever you need to. You don't have to completely take everything out of the hitch every time to get access to that. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.